So, today's shorter-ish video, depending on how long it takes for me to get around to editing this, um, I got this copy of Fire Red that was given to me as a gift from a customer at GameStop. Uh, it is a copy of Fire Red. The very astute of, uh, among you would have already realized that. Congratulations. Uh, there are two main problems with this cartridge. Well, one, the label is just gone. And two, there's a, come on, come on, here, come on, thank you. There's a giant crack down the front of the cartridge. So I actually have a replacement cartridge, which is what this part of the video is. Uh, it's going to be me replacing the cartridge. However, because I don't plan to resell this copy of the game, uh, I will be replacing it with a non-original, uh, a non-original housing. Uh, it is. It will be glow in the dark, which is pretty sick. Um, now, if I was planning on reselling it, then I would seriously consider replacing it with something that's really close to OEM. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm currently opening the thing. I imagine he prints these in bulk. Uh, I got this from a seller on Etsy. Uh, they were cheaper on eBay, however, the shipping was faster. So, he wrapped it really nice in this. Um, oh, uh, I'm a, I have acquired a copy of Emerald from eBay for a not great but not terrible price. So, uh, I will be posting a video on replacing the label on it and cleaning it when I get the chance. God, he used a lot of... <laughs> he used a lot of tissue paper. Cool. Okay. So, this is the shovel we're replacing it with. Uh, while I am in there, I will also be replacing the... Well, not replacing anything else. I will also be uh, cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol because that's something you do with things that you want to be clean. Um, I've got Q-tips on standby. And fun fact, uh, something that's got nothing to do with this video, my isopropyl alcohol is green. Uh, you're supposed to use something like 90%, but all I have at the moment is 70%, so tough. Uh, <laughs> I know, I, hey, I'm here. thank you. Uh, uh, I'm having, I'm having a stroke. I know Fire Red works because I just got finished shiny hunting for the shiny Charmander as the starter. Uh, there was a save file on it from the guy that had it before. Um, I made a agreement to him that I would cleanse his save file. Not that he didn't want me to have it or anything like that, just... Um, it was more of a respect thing, kind of like... You know, I'm not going to explain that. That's just a lot of brain power I don't have right now. Uh, so, for any that was interested, uh, to take this cartridge apart, you need a Y0 bit, preferably a Y00. However, I don't have a traveling that small. Uh, so, a Y0 will work fine as long as you're gentle. Uh, with these cartridges specifically, uh, be careful, but they also slide down in the front like that. 
and then that should just light off. Let's see if we can get a better look at that crack. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. That's, yeah, that's a nasty crack. Uh, while we're in here, oh, uh, it, it's just held in with some, with these, with the peg here, and with the peg here. So all you have to do is just kind of wiggle it a little bit and it just pops right out. Uh, to verify that your copy of Pokemon is real, you should always keep an eye out for these test pads. If a cartridge does not have this on the back, then there's a very good chance that's not real. Because every real cartridge, no matter what model, had these. And specifically Fire Red in Leaf Green. Uh, this is the save chip. It's what the game uses to keep track of your save file. And then here's the ROM chip. That's where the game was actually stored. Uh, keep in mind the location of these fuses. These specific three here. They're different on fake ones. Well, and obviously fake ones won't have the Nintendo logo on the front. Uh, you can also see this. This is actually the direct model number of this board. I don't know if this means it's a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. Uh, however, I do know that that's the model number. Uh, I can read uh, Ruby and Sapphire cartridges like that, uh, but I can't read... Emerald, uh, not Emerald, but Fire Red cartridges like that. Come on, focus. Hey, hey. I'm the only one allowed to lose focus here. Thank you. So, I'm gonna set that in there for a second. We're going to take our Q-tip. We're going to dip it in my green isopropyl alcohol. It tents the thing slightly green. We're just going to run it across the contacts here. No, I don't really care if dirt comes off or not. However, it's nice to know that it's clean. We can also go around very gently. Don't want to knock any fuses off. You can get the rest of the board. Because... It's just, it, it's force of habit for me, really. It's, you don't really need to clean anything more than just... See, a little bit came off. You don't really need to clean more than just the contacts. Uh, but I'm a neat freak, so I do. <laughs> um... This one should just come, yeah, that one should just come apart the same way. All right, if I had to, holding it already, if I had to like get, if I had to like rate the quality of the shell and how it feels, it feels, it feels so lighter, but just this wrong. So let's grab that. It goes in this way. Cool. And then this. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's not together. You went together once, you go together again. This video is going to be me fighting to get this cartridge together. <laughs> Come on. Now, official cartridges just kind of... Oh, there we go. Got it. Um, official cartridges just kind of snap together. Um, but... Here we go. 
Uh, I do have a uh, replacement label on the way because this one's just straight up missing it. Um, here, let's see if I can get any closer. There we go. Uh, now, because these cartridges are clear, I, I know I'm off topic. I'll go back to the label in a second. Uh, you can't really see the four squares under the ruby, but with this new shell, you can clearly see that there they are. Uh, on ruby, sapphire, and emerald, they are perfectly clear. Um, in fact, let me get my copy for a second. Uh, this is my authentic copy of ruby. You can see the test pads there. And here's my authentic copy of Sapphire. And you can see the pads there. On Emerald, uh, on, on Emerald, they'd be in the exact same place, but here on Leaf Green and Fire Red, they are going to be in the same place. However, they're a little lower. And I'm assuming that has something to do with the save, with the uh, RTC battery on these. Um, So let's get the, back back to the label before I get sidetracked again. Um, it is a custom label that I am having commissioned because I figured that if I am going to already replace the, the housing, I might as well full gas it custom. Is that okay? Quartz flush. So now. My copy of Fire Red is in a clear shell, which, which not even arguably is in better condition than the original shell. Now, this is going to anger some some of you weeaboos out there. You're going to be like, "Oh no, you can't put it in a new housing." Uh, tough, tough cookies. Uh, it's my copy of Fire Red. Uh, so I'll do with it what I wish. Uh, let me get a boy to show you that this cartridge cartridge still works. Screwdriver to the side. Yeah, right, there it is. Put that in there. Well, that fits real good. And there you go. Look at that. Oh, you can see my face in it. That's nice. <laughs> Fire red. Look. Ta da. I paid all of about I think for this for this cartridge specifically I think I paid four dollars and fifty cents which is not that bad uh, this this extra cartridge might pop up on eBay through my store as damaged uh, probably the way I get my money back out of this. Uh, like I said, you won't see this video until I actually have the label to put on it. So, I guess I'll see you then. But this is glow in the dark, so that's pretty sick. Uh, you know, actually, I will publish this video, and I will make a community post on it when I get the label on it. Oh, my fingernails are dirty. I apologize. Dirty little boy.